Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. I'm Zemo, the Dad and DPS, and we're back once again with another episode of Script My Pants, a series where I spend 2,000 script in order to find out if Markaberg loves me. She does not. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is the YouTube members and the coffee link down below in the description of the video. Anyway, let's see what crap I get today. So yeah. 2000 script. One absolute douche canoe of a creature. First up. Okay, this one isn't too bad. Furious short laser pistol. Last shot in the magazine and 90% reduced weight. Not the best weapon um, ever, but Furious isn't a bad effect, it's just not optimised. Then you have last shot. Now, last shot I think is always better on a low clip weapon, so pretty much using this in a way where I'm got a small amount of ammo could could be okay um, probably not but yeah still could be okay next up nocturnal double barrel 25 damage while aiming one perception again if you are into a nocturnal build this is a decent weapon but yeah, I'm probably gonna scrap it myself Berserker Short Gatling, replenish action points with each kill and stealth field. Now I am really trying to get a decent one of these with the replenish action points with each kill on there and that's action reduced cost in the bottom because I have a theory uh, that I want to test out and when I get one it's going to be fun on the button. Maybe a while. Bloodied Pipe Pistol with Last Shot and Stealth Field. Now this one is actually decent. It's kind of not the best thing to have Last Shot on there, but Stealth Field on this type of weapon I definitely think has a place. And Bloody Pipe Pistols, because it's the fully automatic one, the potentially fully automatic one, it should be a decent little gun and potentially work its way into my arsenal. Zeal at short radium, replenish action points with each kill, and still feel. Again, as I always say in every video, specific damage, like scorched, um, bugs, all that kind of stuff, it's bad. It, I mean, they, they, they're good against very specific things, but to be honest, they are bad. I mean, if it was on something that I would be using against the Scorched Beast Queen, yeah, maybe, maybe I would bother using it, but very rarely do I get anything like that. So, Fixer, we have, oh, I forget what one that is, it's Suppressors on the other one. Uh, Vats crit damage, one agility. No, this is shite. Another Fixer with Assassins, Last Shot and Stealth Field. Another shite weapon. Oh god, no. Aristocrat's crossbow, 25 damage while aiming, and reduced VATS action cost. Maybe a decent actual little crossbow. I quite enjoy using crossbows on the certain characters of mine that can use it, so this is actually not a bad drop for me. It's not the best drop ever, but it's, it's something I will probably use and fiddle around with. Junkie short radium rifle, 25 damage while aiming, stealth field. Uh, I don't fancy these weapons too much without using them with that, so I think damage while aiming isn't the best. Junkies is an effect that has fallen by the wayside and it's very, very underused. Don't get me wrong, it's not the worst effect, but again, it's nowhere near what it used to be in terms of what people consider to be a proper damaging effect. Bloodied Harpoon Gun, 25 damage while aiming, breaks 50% slower. Eh. Um, bloodied on this weapon, I don't think it's very much use, if I'm honest. Uh, 25 damage while aiming, yeah, it's going to do a lot of damage, but at the same time, who's really using harpoon guns on a regular basis? Furious Pipe Rifle, faster, a uh, pipe bolt action um, pistol rather, uh, 25 faster fire rate, faster movement speed. Now, uh, this is scrap. Faster fire rate in this type of gun is completely irrelevant in a lot of cases, and Furious on this type of gun is just, no, it's, it's a kind of very bad combination of effects, unfortunately. <laughs> Stalkers, Gatling, Laser, bleh. Stalkers, bleh. Replenish action points with each kill, faster movement speed, no, scrap, scrap, 100% scrap. Furious Snubnose Pistol, 
Furious isn't exactly the best effect again. Limb damage on here, faster movement speed, probably scrip. I say probably, it's definitely scrip. Bloody Pipe Revolver, replenish action points with each kill, one agility. Actually a decent little weapon. Bloodied, um, there's a few of my characters that can utilise this quite well. The replenish action points with each kill, I definitely think is a decent little effect. It isn't as good as some other ones, but it's definitely going to help you sustain your um, your bats for longer. And on a stealth build, against most enemies, that's going to ensure that you never run out of AP, so you can just kill an entire army one shot at a time. Either way, decent little effect. Vampire Missile Launcher, Vats crits do 50% damage, 25% uh, Vax action point cost. Now, with the change to Grenadier, I am actually curious how well this weapon does. Don't get me wrong, two shot is still going to be superior, but the amount of health you're probably regenerating from this damn thing is probably ridiculous in the right situation. I don't think it's good, mind you, but still. Nocturnal Submachine Gun, 25 damage with aiming and 25% advance action cost. Again, probably a good gun if you are using uh, Nocturnal, but the, the two middle effects counteract each other, so it's kind of annoying, unfortunately, when you get them together. Exterminator's Gatling Laser, Vats hit chance, faster movement speed. It's Exterminator's, it's pish. Absolute pish. Three more to go. Vampire's Crusader Pistol, Bashing Damage, Vats Action Point Cost. Now this one's actually decent. The Bashing Damage is obviously absolute balls, but the Vats Action Point Cost is actually okay. Don't get me wrong, Explosive in that middle slot. Dear God, I wish I could get that on one of those guns. Um, I never seem to do. But yeah, decent little weapon, uh, not perfect. Anti-Armor Ultrasight Gatling Laser with Steel Field and Vats Crits. Fast crits on this isn't great, and still field isn't great, let's be honest. You're not going to be sneaking around with this damn thing, so... Eh. Just eh. Last but not least... Zealot's 10mm submachine gun, bullets explode for area damage, 15% faster reload. Why couldn't that have been on the, the vampire's thingamabob? Eh. Sad face. Alright, let's see what the top pick... Top, blah, blah, blah. Let's see what the top picks are tonight. Yeah, I think for the first pick tonight, I'm going to go for the Bloody Pipe Revolver. Now, Bloody on this type of weapon is pretty effective. You can stealth and deal a lot of damage in the one go. The replenish action points for each kill means this thing is going to regenerate the action points that you're using. And then the one agility, I mean, you could be better off with faster reload, um, fats action cost. There's loads of different things that could be in that slot that would be better. But at the same time, having a special point is never bad it's not particularly the greatest for the middle of the road one i'm gonna go for the vampire crusader pistol now bashing damage on there just makes this thing annoy me so much because there's so many effects that would have been so much better crusader pistols are fairly solid weapons and then when you add the vats action point cost reduction there it is a decent little weapon it's not doing everything that i would want it to do explosive would be great in the middle it honestly would be, but that is what it is. You can't, you can't really do much about that. Either way, it's still a decent gun. And last but not least, um, I think the top spot has to go to the Aristocrats crossbow. Um, decent little weapon. Don't get me wrong, gimmicky as all hell. Uh, but the Vance action point cost and the damage while aiming means it's got the utility of being able to use in both kind of fire modes if you want to use it out of Vance and in Vance. Um, and I, I just, I, I think crossbows and bows don't get enough attention. For normal enemies, they do a lot of damage and they can kill most things in one hit. So I, I definitely think they're usable. And fun is probably the best way to put it. And I, I, I'm all about fun, as you guys know. So yeah, top pick. Slim pickings, though. Very slim. So that was tonight's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. As usual you can support the channel by clicking that join button down below to become a YouTube member or you can click my coffee link that's also down below. Now let's thank our YouTube members which are Goldie, Wyatt Blackburn, Wallers, Me, Deofane Gaming, Colin G, Brian RMC, Pegan Knight, Batasbo, Devilman Games, Marcus Carrasco, Scott S, Bubba Dodo Mom, Ranger McSpriddle and Anxiety Rangers. Big thanks to all of you, it's really helping out the channel and hopefully 
hopefully you guys continue to support us I appreciate it infinitely I can't really stress that enough in today's video yeah mm. Ugh, I hate 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 when it does this but you can't win them all it is what it is say la vie other cheesy cliche anyway guys I'll catch you next time in the wasteland